Hi guys, how are you all doing? I'm Shawnee T. Turrell, welcome to my channel. And today we have got another instalment of fishing here at Sakai Lakes, at my father's ponds here in East Yorkshire. And today we are on the large cost pond and we're at the far end of it and we're searching for tench and bream really today. Um, we're going to go simple with the baits again, we're sticking with the sweet corn, we've got some pellets, we've got some flavourings, all that sort of jazz. And hopefully we'll get some decent fish out for you all. Um, nice day here, the sun's out, it's really really bright. Uh, should get some nice uh, sunshine on the back as well. So let's change from the uh, crap winter weather we've been getting. Right, we'll uh, concentrate on getting it setting up and uh, see how the day progresses. Didn't have as much money, so, but um, I've looked after it and I've sort of kept all of it, and so I still use it now. So I haven't really changed a lot of my um, equipment for the last 10 years. But um, we're going to do a little tester. So today I'm using one of these new fancy tube teeny slider floats because we're real deep here, and it'll be a bit of a tester to see whether um, Dad watches my videos because the float belongs to him. So I better not lose it. But in the meantime, we're going to have a go, but we can't seem to get made around it at the moment, it's not working. I'll tell you what guys, we're going to scrap this one and we're going to go back to my normal floats and I'm going to return this and just pretend it never happened because I can't get me around using it. So if you've got any um, help for me regarding how to use these um, new slidey float things just hit us up in the comment section below and um, if not if I remember I'll try and um, YouTube it myself to find out how it work. I get taken off and put a proper float on. Right guys, we're nearly set up ready. We're sticking with the waggler again today. Um, we've swapped wagglers now, we're going to return the other one that I've borrowed. Um, I didn't really like that until I've um, got a bit more familiar with it, maybe. I'll have to do some bit of research on how to use it. So we're going back to uh, a normal bodied waggler. Um, we're fishing two swims today, but one's out in the middle, or further out, off the shelf at the bottom. So it's quite deep water, so just in case it's um, fish are down there still, because we are only in May. Um, and I've marked the line, I don't know if you can maybe catch, pick that up on camera, I've marked the line with a uh, black permanent marker so they can slam a shot up to there, I don't know exactly where I am, I can hit the bottom of there out of the first swim. The second swim is to the edge here, again I've marked the bottom with a permanent marker on the line there, slide back down to that point and get straight in there if it hasn't become warm enough for the fish to migrate into the margins and start picking up something from there. So we'll get jumped in, last few shot on the line, get a few droppers on. We're on a big size 12 hook, um, can't match barbers hook, uh, open face reel 12 foot rod and we'll uh, get slung out and see what we get. We're right on the bottom there, or oh, heading down the shelf towards the bottom. We dropped the shot and just pulled it a little bit down the water so I might have to lose one of them. Uh, we're feeding corn and four million pellets and we're doing a second swim to the side in the margin just in case the fish can get in. I think we've still got a touch too much more weight on that. So lose a bit of that. Mm -hmm. 
So I'll just say now guys, there's loads of people out there that know a lot more about this sort of stuff than me. This is just the way I've done it for a lot of years. I do catch fish sometimes. Um, I'm always keen to learn new ways or the proper ways to do stuff if people are willing to uh, spread the knowledge. So please don't slip me for using things incorrectly. I just try my best, that's all. It's a nice, big, heavy, loaded, bodied waggler. This one back out of the deep. We're about 11 foot there. And aiming to uh, reflect on the tree in the back so I've got one in the same place at the time. And notice I'm not using a rod rest again. I've got one to the side there if I need it, but generally I don't when I'm float fishing because I become lazy. I can walk up between my legs and get fed up with that. There's a universe inside you You've got to give it room to breathe So let the universe excite you Cause that's the way it's meant to be It's a little bit warm. Um, we're not too sure how long we're going to stay because I'm at work tonight, um, so we really need to leave within the next hour. And the bites have been very slow. Um, we're just looking across the uh, field over there behind us, and we've got a lot of black hog coming. And I haven't got my brolly with me; it's over there in the shed, so um, I won't be nipping back and getting that at this point. Um, even though I've done quite poorly so far. Um, so even, to, even though today I haven't done very well, don't be dismayed, there will be plenty more videos where there will be fish. Um, my dad's sitting further up our pond, about 200 yards away, and wind's in his face, and he's had 5 or 6 tench and 15, 20 bream now. Um, I've sat nice, sheltered, uh, sun on my back, and a bit of a jolly time, and not really caught anything, so there's maybe something to be said there, I maybe should have blunted the wind a little bit more, and. I would have uh, maybe produced some fish. But in the meantime, we'll have a quick look around. I'll show you. Uh... So we've managed to go through about two to three pints of pellets that we mix with a small amount of water and brasm. Usually works quite well. Some smaller pellets, these are two, three mil size pellets, uh, and just corn the variety little boilies and meats and things. So today even the cameraman's got bored, um, or camera woman. Um, I've given her the rest of the day off so might as well sit there before we have to pack up the scarf before it starts raining on us. Um, we'll sit it out for a little bit longer, probably have about another half an hour at it. And if not, I'm going to pack my stuff up and skedaddle before I get wet because I need to get the car on as well before it gets wet. Right, I'll uh, check back in a few minutes or maybe half an hour or so if we don't produce anything in the meantime. So guys, when we're about to give up and go home, before the rain gets to us, Rob has just ripped round and I think we might have either a tench or a cap, probably a tench. Oh no, it's a skimmer. Bream.
guys. There's the first one, it'll probably be the only one today. Unfortunately for me I'm going to have to go home because I need to go to work. Uh, I wish the session was longer, the fish are just starting to come on now, but unfortunately that's it for me. Um, it's nice to see something, so at least I haven't gone home with nothing. Because that would be quite embarrassing, but at least I've caught something today. So we'll drop him back in. Nice bream, just coming to his darker colours. So guys, I'm going to call it a day at that. Um, we've only had a few hours here really, just to sort of squeeze something in for this week. Um, the rain is about to start coming over and I'm not going to get wet for the sake of you guys. So, we've just dropped the bream back. Um, I wish I could have stayed longer because they just started to come on now. Uh, as you can see, I switched tactics and went to the feeder because um, the wind was just starting to get up and cause a bit of undertow. And it was just pulling the float offline a bit too quick. So at least we've not switched over and we managed to get a fish. So don't be put off coming here just because my session hasn't been very fruitful. Um, my dad feather at the pond has done well today. Um, I just don't really possess the necessary skills for today's fishing, but that just proves that it's uh, it's legitimate. It's not all just um, it's put on for the camera. This is this is genuine. And some days are better than others. Right, so we're going to get packed up and I'll uh, see you guys hopefully in the next video. Remember, if you like it, please hit the like button and if you fancy subscribing, smash that subscribe button. And if you turn on the little bell, at least you'll see when they put the next videos up. From now on, most of them will be fishing videos, might be the odd car video, but there will be mainly fishing videos from now on. Right, so until the next one, thanks a lot guys, see you later. So that's packing up as well. Say hi, Dad. Sorry? This is, <laughs> this is Shane Turrell, owner of Stack Car Lakes here, and my father. Um, hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Um, get yourselves on, have a look, and find us. We are here in East Yorkshire. It's terrible, uh, Find us up here in East Yorkshire, Stack Car Lakes, Brands Burton. Uh, get yourself on. We've got £8 for a rod, or £10 for two. Uh, great fishing on, on any of the ponds really. Are we opening the other pond yet? Yeah. Yeah, Match on there tomorrow. Got matches, uh, so if anyone's interested in booking matches, um, hit us up with that because we've got a pond now dedicated for matches. Good course pond. By, what are the weights that come out of the last time? Uh, silver fish matches about 40, 40 pounds. That was all over winter. A winter silver fish match fetching £40, pound, that's good results. Um, or you can get yourselves into the bigger pond, which is, um, or the other big pond, which is full of the, the larger bream and tench and carp and stuff. Or the small ones, especially if you've got young kids that are eager to learn. Um, we've got a, a good pond there that's suitable for them with it being shallow and full of little fish, so nothing to scare them off or anything. Sorry, I can't stop looking at the bloody chicken. <laughs> 14 bream, 6 tench today. <laughs> So my efforts were one bream right last minute before I have to pack up and go home to work. And dad's were what? 14 bream and 6 tench. 14 bream and 6 tench. Yeah. It's not a bad effort. I told you it was just me that was lacking the skills to, to get them in. Right, so until next time YouTube, see you later. I am on a whole nother level. Girl, he only fought you over cause you let him. Girl, I guess he didn't know any better. Girl, that man didn't show me ever. Do all I can just to show you you're special. Certain it's your love that holds me together. Change from this crap by the way. Uh. <laughs>